live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2019. Brought to you by Informatica. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. We have two guests for this segment. We have Ronan Schwartz, he is the Senior Vice President and General Manager, Big Data Cloud and Data Integration at Informatica. Welcome Ronan, welcome back Ronan. Yes, pleasure <laughs> to be here. Welcome to Informatica World. Thank you, and we have Daniel Jewett, VP Product Management at Tableau. Thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. Thank you for the welcome, Rebecca. Happy to be here. Yeah. So there's some big news that's going to be announced uh, later today. Tell us about the partnership with Tableau and Informatica. I want to start with you, Ronan. Yes, so Tableau have been an amazing innovator in the area of data visualization, analytics. I think more than all, they've actually opened the ability for more people to use data. And Informatica have been very excited to partner with Tableau on this journey of how do we empower more users, more company to become data driven. Uh, so I think very exciting partnership, a lot of innovation, a lot of great capabilities. So we hear so much about the, the, the explosion of data and, and how much its use is being just, just across the enterprise. More and more functions are using data to make their decisions. How does this impact the strategic importance of data? Yeah, absolutely. Well, so the relationship with Informatica for us has become uh, important over the years as that data has exploded, right? It used to start off, you had a spreadsheet of some numbers and you wanted to try and understand what was in there and Tableau helped you with that. But then as data lakes started coming on the scene and not just a single data lake, but multiple feeds of data and streaming data and data's here and data's over in Europe and data's wherever it happens to be, that becomes a real challenge for the individuals who have some questions of that data. So Tableau's only as good as the data that we can get our hands on. So to have a great partner like Informatic who can marshal and rationalize where all that data is, is a, a valuable partnership for us to have. And it's really about data governance, but then also about democratization of data and analytics. Do you want to talk about that a little bit, Ronan? Yes, so I think uh, democratization of data actually depends on your ability to have built-in governance so that the users are using the right data at the right time and the organization actually understand what is available where. I think this is actually one of the sweet spots for the partnership. Right. Actually, the, the ability of Tableau with a very easy interface to allow everybody to really work with data and the ability of Informatica to enable everybody to get the data in a governed way when you can actually control the quality and the availability of the data is actually our sweet spot as partners. There's some real tension there between the democratization and the governance side, right? So from a business user's perspective, democratization means I want to use that data and I want to start working with it. From a business user's perspective, governance typically means no. IT says you can't use that data, or you can't have it, or it's too complicated for you. So to be able to break that down and say no, a data catalog and some of the tools from Informatica make the data available in an accessible and friendly manner, an understandable manner, is what enables the democratization to happen. So it's kind of turning that no into a yes, let me help you which is a big difference. And how is that relationship between IT and the business side? I mean, how would you say that it has evolved in recent years um, as there is more of a push and pull between these two functions? Yeah, it's definitely evolved over the years. So as Ronan said, we've been working together for a long time. I think we officially became partners back in 2011. And uh, you know, there was probably some tension out at a lot of accounts between the, uh, the IT camp and the business camp, and we were always the flag bearers of the, of the uh, business users. Um, as we've seen over years, business users get frustrated by untrusted data and not being able to find data. So as the IT organizations have helped bridge that gap, uh, you know, I'd like to think we're helping put that olive branch in between the two, uh, the two camps at companies with the products working together. I think imagine that instead of IT actually being on the way of people using data, IT is really giving the power to find the right data to the business users. And this is actually instead of like, instead of the user really working really, really hard to get the data, now it's in their fingertip, they can find it. And when they find it, they can use it all the way from the source into Tableau in a very, very easy right. way. And trust it and trusted. Right. Which the is the value add exactly. that, yes. you know, I can find a lot of data easily, but most of it is not trustworthy, and I don't know if I want to do my analysis on untrustworthy data. So to be able to trust that data that I've come across is, is really important. 
We're talking a lot about AI and machine learning here. How do those two uh, concepts, ideas, approaches, methodologies play into Tableau's vision? Yeah, for Tableau, right, we've always been the, the company that wants the human as part of the process, right? We think people are curious and we want them to explore that data and work with it. So at first glance you might think, well, AI and machine learning doesn't fit in with that, but we think there is really a powerful way for it to do it. Instead of a machine learning solution handing you the answer, we want the machine learning solution to say, we think there's something interesting here that you should go explore more. So that's the angle that we're putting our investment on. So putting the human into these techniques. Human, human still needs to be the, in learning. the loop, and the machine can help coach you along the right way to make those inferences around the data. Final question, we are, we're talking a lot about the skills gap. It is a pressing problem in the technology industry. Ronan, I'm going to start with you. How, how much does this keep you up at night, and, and what are you doing to ensure that you have the right technical and business talent to fill the open roles you have on your team? Um, I think, I don't know if, the, I'd probably answer it in a, in a relatively unique way. I think one of our job as a vendor is actually is to empower more users to do more complex tasks, actually without the necessity to, uh, to uh, build a huge skill set. And I think today, especially in this event, a lot of the clear RAI technology is really coming to give users that are less skilled a lot, a lot of power. And this is actually a critical thing in order to address the, the new needs, right? So the needs will continue to grow, the demand is going to continue to grow. We believe that a big part of answering the, the demand versus supply is by empowering new users to participate in an effective way within the integration, data management, analytics space. So we're making a major, major effort there, but we're also adding a lot of uh, guided, a lot of advice, a lot of optimization that is done for the users automatically so that the users are more effective. Um, I still think that the need for talent is only going to grow. It's not just the growth in the data, it's the growth in the demand for data and the growth in the demand for good data. So I think a lot of enablement, a lot of, um, uh, a lot of uh, investment in people uh, and in methodology to actually empower more users. Okay. Yeah, so for us, um, part of the onus is on us to make the software easy enough to use and understandable for the audiences that are coming across it. So uh, there's really no reason why everybody can be an, can't be an analyst. They might be afraid of that title, but you're all working with data. You're looking at your phone, you're looking at your steps, you're looking at everything. Data, you know, that's a simple example, but data comes across your landscape in a lot of ways. So it's up to us to make the analytic flow as easy as we can and understandable as we can. Um, but it's also up to us to help grow the skills, right? You can only make it so easy, because sometimes doing analytic tasks and working with data is, is just hard, right? There are complicated things. So what can we do to uplift the skills? We do a lot with uh, Tableau for Teaching and trying to uh, nurture education programs all the way from, from uh, K through 12 and, and up in universities to try and um, seed the universities and the uh, elementary school instructors to start introducing the concepts of working with data at early ages, and then in college there's whole classes that um, people use Tableau in to help understand the analytic process. So it's a little step and it's a forward looking uh, step, right? It, the payoff won't be for many years as those, until those people get into We're the workforce. We're starting them young. <laughs> but you have to. Mamas, right? teach That's your babies, data science. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Gronin, thank you both so much for coming on theCUBE. It's been a great conversation. Excellent, thank, thank, you. thank you Rebecca. I'm Rebecca Knight. We will have much more of theCUBE's live coverage of Informatica World 2019. Stay tuned.